everyone and welcome to or welcome back to Norris Cove. I'm Yoshida. You guys, so today is Thursday, April the 20th, and I haven't done my budget for the week. But let me show you. I know this is just kind of random, but these two page sticky notes have been saving me. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. These two page sticky notes right here has been saving me. So I've just been writing kind of budgeting like this. You guys kind of haven't gotten a budget from me in about what, two weeks. And this is what I've been doing. I'm sorry. This is what I've been doing. And I hate to show it to you and I don't have any to sell. It's just easy for me to just put these in here and go about my day and especially on my schedule so I can see um, like about clients and stuff like that. So anyway, nonetheless, I was debating whether to, even though I haven't done my budget this week with you guys, whether to do that, but I've been meaning to do a flip through of quarter one. So we're going to get into that. So if that sounds like something that you are interested in, please stick around and uh, we're going to get right into it. Okay, you guys, so let's get into this. Um, I don't think I've done a flip of my budget planner in a minute, but I use the class disc, um, excuse me, the class covers from cloth and paper. My discs are from Levenger. I just haven't changed them. I put them on here and just haven't changed them. Love them. I'm a creature of habit, just who I am. Over here in the pockets, I just have this little memo card. Um, uh, it's like a, I don't know. Anyway, uh, from cloth and paper, just as a reminder, just some affirmations I like to say to myself. These, uh, this was in the budget box, one of the budget boxes. So I put that in there and I can't remember where I got this from, but I think it was a printable. And then again, I don't know where I got this from, but it's in there. I don't keep a whole lot in my pockets on in here because I'm, I'm not like in here that long. And then I have a little, y'all have seen this before. Here I got like a breakdown of something that I'm just not going to share right now. But it's $10,000, but I got to do the breakdown. Um, and just some like money affirmation stuff there. And this was in a budget box. And just some little sticky notes from the bucket budget box here as well. Um, my favorite to pays inbox so here my quarter one goes actually i need to fill out for quarter two and i need to cross off the cross off the things that i completed in quarter one um looking at it i think i did almost all of it except for maybe one um yeah and so this is from our first budget box it is the um 2023 budget bundle you can find that it should be linked below but if not you can go over to my website it's there it is a digital you can print it out you have access to it all the time print in many copies you like whatever don't care and i need to fill in my credit score i've been meaning to do that keep forgetting um, and this is my calendar section and pretty much everything in here is from my shop um the only thing is the dividers are from cloth and paper so next we're going to get into the calendar section and again, this is from the 2023 budget bundle, yearly overview, holidays, things like that, our perpetual calendar. And I just couldn't figure out how to use this in my budget planner. For me, I have a customer who uses it for like no spend days. Here, I thought I was going to type in my, um, put in my amounts that I'll make monthly, but I realized this is daily Yoshida. So that still would be a good idea. I um, just haven't figured that out. <clears throat> and then what I did was, you won't get the dated calendar in the budget bundle. So I swapped out the dated calendar for our, um, no, excuse me, our undated calendar for the dated calendar for the year. So here's January. Some months I may or may not have anything in here, February. And each month I try to find a groove of like, Maybe color coding, maybe not. Maybe, you know, putting down my goals, maybe not. Here, I try to sketch a calendar. Because I don't care if that calendar is up there or not. So that's why it's not on here. And then here we are at April. This is my birthday month, and I'm trying some color coding, as you can see, just to see. But my brain is doing the dizzy. So I'm like, I don't know if that's going to work for me. But yeah, so then I have my birthday mark, things like that, holidays, all that great stuff. And then May, 
have already started kind of pre-planning for May. I don't have anything in these other months. So we're going to skip to monthly. And here I just have this turned down, but it's a half page from cloth and paper. And I just have it turned down because it was like some expenses for the business. And then here's a dashboard that was in uh, one of our budget boxes. I can never remember. I know. I do try to grab me some things from the budget box, like here, I'm to the point now, I'm selling my stuff, and we just, I gotta figure that out, but like, if my stuff is the last stuff, I sell it, so sometimes I just don't get to keep it, and then I know I can just print a dashboard, but um, sometimes I don't care if I don't get a dashboard. I'd rather not print it, because I'm lazy, than to, to get one, so whatever. And I just stuck one of the journaling cards from one of our um, budget boxes on the back of that. Some half pages from cloth and paper. This is January, <clears throat> February, March, April. So we're at April over here. And then we're done with the months. <clears throat> and then this dashboard is from cloth and paper. And then this is some more month. Where are we at? This is, this is from last year, October. And then now we're into my weekly, and this is another dashboard for one of our budget boxes. So now we get into the paycheck budget. And then I like making little notes of things that happen. So see, I totally forgot. I was so upset at this moment, but I think it was right around Christmas. Um, HP withdrew $185 out of my account. They deposited 82 of it back. So this is a note to kind of remind me, especially when I forget about things like that. And it kind of left me in a negative. So, and I like to see my week progress. I like to see how my budget has progressed over the years. So I thought this quarter flip would be great. And then here I got what I made from Norris Cove this week. Got an oil change here. So in case I need to transfer that, I can see. And it says $138 because I got my oil changed and my tires rotated. Now, to me, I need to highlight this because, um, let me find my highlighter. <clears throat> That'll let me know when it's time to go um, make an envelope. I've been loving this um, highlighter. It just came in our latest budget box. But I thought I was going to like the tan color, but I'm loving this color here. Um, it lets me know that to start a envelope for my car if i need to get an oil change tire rotation this is what it'll cost me and then here i put taxes basically i paid let me do another highlight i paid my tax lady 300 so that let me know to put that into my little yearly overview that way when next year when she's like oh what did i charge you last year uh it's right here honey i got it written down um my car insurance changes sometimes from month to month. So I got it here. I got little notes here. And then this was 327. And I've been making some notes here. I had to get my emissions done. I need to make a note of that because I did get my emissions done. It's time for me to pay for my LLC. I'm after the date, but I look like it doesn't have any fees. Plus, I realized I didn't play last year, so I gotta double up. So yeah, so that's that, and that's it. Envelopes. I've been using this a little more often, even though I have it on the week right here. And as you can see, I only use it once. <laughs> Instead of me using my little notes. And then, that's it. I'll do my little year-end review um later but i think i may do quarter one you know just right now things that got done i can do that quarterly and just look at it at the end of the year and then here's the money goals the last video i did we talked about the money goals this is my rough draft and this is me highlighting um things i need to fix but i still wanted to use it i use the oops all the time i love using my own oops because they don't bother me and so that's um that and this is from cloth and paper as well. Also, this um, little folder is from cloth and paper. I just totally looked over this. Um, I use these because I love these total boxes. And actually, I can put some of these in my regular planner. And then I have these. And as you can see, this is a oops. So I keep the oops. And it's really not an oops. It just didn't do the way I want it. I forgot to do something to it. So I keep it. And yeah, money. These are old, like these are from 2020. I don't even know if I have these in the shop anymore, but um, yeah. So I have just some budget stuff 
here. And then this is, it says debt. And I haven't wrote out any debt things, which I need to get back into. The ones from 2022 I took out, so that's why they're not here. And then this says spending tracker, which I was like, why did I didn't make a sticker for that? But anyway, here's my spending tracker. And then I updated it. I stopped in January, but I've been using the sticky notes, um, the sp daily spending sticky notes. So here are the new ones that we did, I think, month before last. So that's that. And yeah, see, this is ex business expense. That's with some clear matte paper, so I don't mind showing that. And then um, the latest. This was like a oops dashboard. I kept it for myself, but this dashboard is from Cloth and Paper, and this was in our latest um, budget box. So again, I just like keep the oops. And then our latest budget box was all about sinking funds. That was April's box. And then this is savings, but there's nothing here. <laughs> and then this is the note section, and these are just some tool note paper. So. That is my quarter one flip of my budget uh, planner. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.